Hello, I'm Maurice Dimba. Welcome to this presentation. Of course, today I'm going to take you through the creation of the isometric view of this model you're seeing here. Then from there, we'll go to general arrangement, plans, and section of this model. Welcome once again to this presentation. And prior to invoking the isometric view creation command, we have to select the whole model. And also you have to position your model in a manner that when you make a printout of the isometric view, someone will be able to see almost everything or 90% of the whole model. Now, what I'm going to do is just to select the whole model like that. By pressing the left button on, on the mouse, then uh, cover your model in, in that manner and, li and leave for selection to take effect. Let it select the whole model. After that has been selected, we will go straight here under drawing and reports, then we come to create drawings. Under the create drawings, we have a drop down arrow there. Click on that drop down arrow, then come to the GA drawing. You click on that, then you come to 3D. After picking the 3D, you come to create drawing and let it create the drawings. Right there and go straight away and click create drawings straight away. And let's wait for the drawings to be created. Then we'll go to, uh, we'll, we'll create plan, the plan view for this model. Then from the, from the plan, we'll be able to generate other elevations and sections from that plan. As you can see, it's still loading or still generating the isometric view of our project. Just give it time to finish up. Still generating the isometric view. I think it is done. Now we can go ahead and, and uh, close this dialog box, then go straight to drawing list and uh, drawings and report. We'll go, st we'll go to drawing list. Under this, we'll make this a little bit bigger and uh, you can notice that we have the GA here. This is our GA, the rest you see AAAA, which means assembly under standard creation of the drawing. Now we'll double click on this to open our drawing. After double clicking, the drawing will load. Let it load. Then after that, we will minimize this window to see what has been created. There we are. Now we can go ahead and minimize this window right here. And there we are, we, we can see the isometric view of our model here. Here we are, you can zoom it in and out. And also you can you can rescale this to fit inside your title block by just double clicking by double clicking on this frame uh, double clicking right there and uh, on, on on the next window to, to appear you'll be able to change you'll be able to rescale this to fit into either a1 a2 or a0 and since it is a big model you come there after cl after clicking layout after clicking the layout right there you come to do layout here then scroll up pick the a0 but several paper sizes will come will come here once you've customized your your layout setup where you will be able to have a1 up to a4 but that i will present to you on the next 
uh, on the on the next upload but for now we have the a0 we'll pick the a0 there then we'll feed the dimensions there then come here and pick the a0 and the moment you click it will fit inside your title block but for now i want just to show you briefly on how to to create your isometric view and another thing the way it is we can export it to autocad which also i'll show you how to do that in in the next presentation now having showed you how to create an isometric view now we'll save this we will save this let me just bring it closer we will save this because we want to we don't want to lose the content of this and i'm forgetting one thing if you take a look on the beams here you can actually see how the ribbers have been arranged and how the startups have been located one represents all because all of them are similar and you can also see our bracings are there and uh, and everything is there everything's nicely done here now we'll go straight to how to we'll go straight to plan creation we are going to create plan then from the plan we'll be able to create the elevations and uh, and sections now we'll close this we'll close it by clicking on that end but if you click the upper one you'll you'll be closing the whole tech class, the whole program at a go but now we want to close the drawing side of the tecla structures that which will take us back to the model now from the model here we want to go to drawings and and, uh, and reports and the drawings and report will come back to the same same spot where we have the ga here and the score will scroll down to we want to generate the plan from zero zero level we'll pick zero then come to create click create and wait for the outcome where you'll be able to see the plan view of this model it has been done and you can go ahead and close this then follow it up on the drawing list we'll make this be a little bit bigger then we'll be able to see the ga but on the ga but plan view double click and uh, you'll be able to see how it looks like let it load properly after loading we will minimize this window here let's minimize that this is our this is our plan this is our plan view you can actually see that you can see that this is our plan view perfect now from here i want to show you how you can create the elevation the side elevations and this side elevation elevation and the front and back elevation and side elevations now to create that i'll come to views then i'll pick section i'll pick that and i'll zoom and pick where i want to create the uh, i mean section or elevation i'll pick from that spot and to that spot and i want to see an elevation of that end from that spot to that spot the direction of my camera if you can see the triangle we have two triangles there which represents the camera i want to see this from that side and we'll wait for that to load now whatever you're seeing here it uh, it it is from zero zero level i'll click on that blue boundary and press my left button on the mouse to drag it aside like that now this after this has been created now you can click on this and drag it up to see all the parts 
let let it wait for it to load you can drag that up and drag that up and wait for it to load and drag this slightly down like that perfectly done then from here I want to make to uh, I want to increase the scale of this you can see the palins are there now I'm going to double click on this to change the scale to make it a little bit bigger I'll change the scale to 25 and click modify and wait for the adjustment I'll go there and apply and accept and zoom in and out I'll be able to see all this I'll be able to see all that to drag click on the blue boundary and press your left button on the mouse and, and pull it and, uh, and drag it to a location of your preference now this is what we want now if you take a look on the on the beam you, you'll be able to see slightly how the rebars have, have been have been have, have been laid you can see the main bars and the startups we have one startup here which represent the rest the spacing are the same size is the same so a representation of one is 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 equivalent to to the rest even our levels are here we have 7.5 we have five meters we have three meters then we have our final level at zero zero level we have omitted the, the dimensions and I'll, I'll explain to you in the next presentation now from here we want to create the side elevation we want to create the side elevation we'll come back to views and come back to section here then you snap we want to see a section from here from that from that end just zoom out we want to see a section from that end just zoom in we want to get catch up with that spot we want to see that section and we want to cover where we want to see we want to see up to that spot that section and then drag and cover the whole window of the the section you want to see we want to cover up to that end then this is our camera we want to face it in that direction we'll click on that for us to see or to generate for us a side elevation of this plan of, or of the model now we'll drag this slightly down We'll drag it slightly down like that after that we'll pick on that point and drag it up to open the full view of the side elevation and leave it on top there and wait and wait for it to load like that the way it has loaded here but still it, it it hasn't opened completely well though it's it's okay now double click this to to change the view depth you can change this you can change this to you can change that to five meters and also these five meters Come here and click modify and wait for the results. Perfect. We can close that now. And this is our side elevation. And we can do the same thing on the other end and we get the right result. This is the way to create your plan view. Now from the plan view, you can be able to now create other sections and elevations and please note that you can you you, you can rescale this by double clicking on on the on the blue boundary downscale 
your drawing to fit in a title block. I'll show you that in the next presentation. Just keep watching the channel. And thanks a lot for watching this video. I'm a presenter, Maurice Dimba. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more videos to come. And uh, bye bye. Let's meet on the next presentation.